ladies, it's your girl here, Patricia, and I'm gonna go ahead and do this messy bun tutorial that some of you requested a few videos back. I prepped my hair, so let's get started. I prepped my hair on a twist out. I just did four big twists, put it um, in a ponytail at the nape um, just to stretch it out a little bit. I usually do this on a braid out, did it on a twist out this time, doesn't matter. As long as your hair has a little bit of texture to it, it makes the um, bun a little more and just gives it you know makes it kind of interesting so now I'm moisturizing with a little bit of water this has aloe vera juice in it as well can't, can't tell you how much but it has aloe vera juice in it and I'm gonna seal with my natural hair oil blend I'll leave you the tutorial for this mixture down in the description bar and make sure you get those ends to keep them moisturized all right so I'm taking the twist loose like I said you're not looking for twist out definition here you're just looking for just textured hair keeps the bun full keeps it interesting like we said earlier all right break it down as much as you can without completely obliterating your a curl pattern or a texture pattern and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and um, add some water to our edges or my edges and this is just to prepare for products and I'm going to be using the Shea Moisture curling souffle apply that to my edges and now this is not gonna give me that flat you know glued to my head edges edged up type of look it's just gonna lay down the flyaways, all right? We don't want it to be too perfect, but at the same time, we don't want it to be a hot mess. All right, so I'm using this headband. I'm gonna show you what it looked like when I first got it, like this. I cut it, and then um, it becomes this kind of like hair tie type of situation, and stretches over time, as you can see. So I'm just gonna tie it in the back, like I'm about to do a headband, and then I'm going to bring the hair tie to my crown, push it in the front, pull it in the back until I get to a ponytail now don't do it too tight like I said you're not looking for a really really perfect look you're looking for a messy type look so don't do it too tight all right tie it in the back once you got it where you want it and then tie it in the front again to secure it and if you need to go ahead and use a hairpin as well to just tuck in the extra pieces okay all right, so I'm gonna use a wide tooth comb and I'm just doing this to pull the hair out a little bit just so to get more of it, let it a little bit more of a length. By the way, you can wear it like this. I mean, really, you just really could. All right, so now what I'm doing, I'm just sort of um, distributing the hair evenly around the ponytail. This is just to make sure that the, you know, the messy bun isn't too lumpy. I'm gonna take another headband, ouchless headband, and put it around to create a bun. But wait, we're not done. I'm gonna take the end of it, right, right, and I'm gonna take it, flip it, and then bring it back around, okay? No, this is not the final look. I'm pulling out the hair to form the bun to make it a little bit more full. Like I said, it's not supposed to be perfect, okay? I brought in a little bit of help for my rat tail comb. And I'm taking another headband. By the way, I have a ton of these. I buy them at the dollar store. <laughs> And then um, I'm using it actually for its intended pur purpose this time. I'm using a hairpin now just to, you know, put away some of the hair. Like I said, and not supposed to be too, too perfect. It's supposed to be a messy bun, not a hot mess bun, okay? We don't want a hot mess bun. All right, so this is the final look. Yeah, there it is. There's the hair. Tell me what you guys think. Okay, thumbs up if you want more hair tutorials like this. Any requests, leave them down below. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time. And as always, God bless.